St. Patrick was not actually born in Ireland. And St. Patrick was not even born with the name Patrick. In fact, Maywin Suckett, his real birth name, was born in Roman Britain around 387 AD. And he was captured by Irish raiders around the age of 16. And he spent about six years tending sheep. Now, this brutal experience instilled in him a deep connection to the land and its people. After escaping back to Britain, he became a devout Christian. It was around this time he adopted the name Patrick. But then he felt a calling to return to Ireland as a missionary. Ireland in the 5th century was a land of Celtic paganism. While there likely weren't actual snakes slithering around, the pagan belief were seen by early Christians as symbolic snakes that needed to be banished. Legend tells us that St. Patrick on a mountaintop was interrupted by a group of hissing snakes. So he raised his staff, the symbol of his faith, and banished them all into the sea. This dramatic image represents the triumph of Christianity over paganism in art. St. Patrick's success stemmed from his deep empathy for the Irish people. He used the simple three-lead shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity, a core Christian concept in a way that did resonate with the Irish. His dedication and respect paved the way for Christianity to take root and flourish throughout Ireland. Even today, St. Patrick's Day celebrated on March 17th honors his legacy and the rich heritage of Irish culture. People wear green, shamrocks adorn everything, and parades fill the streets, a lively reminder of the man who brought Christianity to the Emerald Isle. And here in this country, St. Patrick's Day celebrations have a long history. Evidence suggests celebrations as early as the 1600s in Spanish Florida, in St. Augustine, while in the 13 colonies, documented observances began in 1737 by the Charitable Irish Society of Boston. While there's no single definitive date for St. Patrick's death, as historians debate it, the most widely accepted year for his death is around March 17th, 461 AD in Saul Downpatrick, Ireland. With that, folks, I wish you have a safe St. Patrick's Day.